Hello ladies and gents and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode of Cycling Insider I want to talk about a new bike from Scott for 2020 season and this is the Scott Edict SE Disc uh, bike. But before we start I just want to say uh, again that we truly live in extraordinary times now because of the coronavirus and I truly hope that all of you are well and that your families are also well. Please take care and stay healthy. This is important now. So without further ado, uh, let's talk about Scott Edict SE Disc Bike for 2020 season. It's an interesting offering from Scott with the current price of 3,500 British pounds, which will be approximately 4,200 US dollars for all the people across the pond. And I mean, I immediately have to say that this is not a cheap bike, but you will see that considering the specs and the components you get, it's a very interesting offering and you should definitely check it. And of course, since Scott bikes, you can test them. You should definitely go for a test drive and check it out. Uh, Scott uh, Edict line of bikes is their endurance uh, line of bikes. So it means long days in the saddle and a bit more relaxed uh, geometry. Uh, from my experience, Scott does top-notch carbon fiber frames and forks. And the only complaint I can make here is that they are still offering this um, five-year warranty on carbon fiber frames and forks. And they are a huge manufacturer of bikes and other equipment. And I truly believe they should extend this warranty to the lifetime warranty. So they can be the same as, for example, a Trek or Cannondale. So let's dive in and let's check some of the key components of this bike and see what you can get for three and a half thousand pounds. Uh, first thing first, uh, the paint scheme that you got here on offer is only one paint scheme. It's basically this kind of stealth black and a bit of kind of gray on it. Not very exciting in my opinion, but again, paint scheme is something personal. You definitely like it or you hate it. This kind of wouldn't be my cup of tea. And it's kind of a bit sad that they didn't offer at least another paint scheme on this uh, expensive bike. So when we check the specifications of the bike, let's start with the frame and fork. As I said, uh, this is the uh, endurance range of bike uh, for Scott and Scott Edict uh, carbon fiber frame and fork. And this is the HMF level of carbon fiber technology. Scott does one level above also but HMF is absolutely top class uh, carbon fiber frames and forks from Scott and this is the totally upper level of carbon fiber what they can do. You get a five year warranty on the frame and fork <coughs> and this uh, frame and fork are of course ready for the 12 millimeter true axles both front and back. When we come to the rear mech and the front mech here we have a Shimano Ultegra electronic group set. So this is the Shimano Ultegra DI2 electronic group set, 22 speeds, both rear mech and front mech, and of course shifters which are integrated with hydraulic disc brakes. So we have a hydraulic disc brakes, Shimano Ultegra hydraulic disc brakes, so absolutely top notch hydraulic disc brakes, and combined with the Shimano Ultegra electronic shifting, you absolutely get the top notch from the shifting performance and the braking uh, performance. Crankset, Shimano Ultegra again, uh, R8000, and this is 5034 chain rings, and this is paired with the cassette, which is the Shimano's uh, <coughs> CSR7000, so we are again on the Ultegra level uh, cassette, 1132 cassette. So 1132 cassette and 5034 chain rings, as you already see, this is definitely an endurance level bike and you won't have uh, any big problems in climbing steep mountains with these uh, gear ratios. I'm glad they didn't cut corners on the cassette. They didn't cut corners on the chain, which is also Shimano Ultegra chain, 11 speed chain. So this is always nice to see because these are little details where some 
manufacturers can cut corners. Bottom bracket set is the Shimano's press fit bottom bracket BB71. Uh, from my experience, Shimano does these bottom brackets nicely, they don't creak, you don't have usually any problems with them. As I said, brakes, uh, hydraulic disc brakes, Shimano Ultegra hydraulic disc brakes, 160mm rotors board front and back, and these are the RT800 central lock rotors, so absolutely not the cheapest one, and again a nice move from Scott that they didn't cheap out here on this component. Handlebar, classical alloy handlebar from Syncros, which is an in-house manufacturer of Scott, nothing special here, and uh, seat post, they don't say here, is it a carbon fiber? I believe it is on this level of bike, 27.2 uh, millimeters in diameter. Uh, when it comes to the wheel set on this bike, we have a um, Syncros wheel set, Syncros RP uh, 2.0. Uh, both front and back. Uh, they don't give a, give a lot of info about this wheel set, but let's put it this way. This is a, again an in-house production from Scott, Some the same kind of way of doing things like Trek would do with their Bontrager uh, level of products. And I believe that these Syncros wheels still use DT Swiss hubs and internals, and if that's still the truth then it's absolutely top-notch, uh, no complaints here. Uh, tires are Schwalbe, Schwalbe tires, um, 30C tire, absolutely brilliant in my opinion. I mean Schwalbe, uh, very famous German manufacturer of tires. Uh, no complaints here, it's a nice uh, wide tire, you're gonna get a lot of air volume inside and really the, the ride should be like like uh, running on clouds as I would call it. As you see all this uh, comes with a bit of penalty in bike weight, so this is 8.3 kilograms bike weight and I truly believe this is a size 56 so definitely on the I mean heavier side because when you always think about uh, top-notch professional racing bikes are 6.8 kilograms but again keep in mind that this is the endurance level of bikes and they usually hover around 8 kilograms 8 and a half kilograms so this is definitely an kind of average uh, bike weight so to summarize this bike, I mean, who is this bike for, if you ask me? I would say absolutely, if you are looking for a comfortable, comfortable ride, long days in the saddle and a bit of uh, relaxed geometry, this is absolutely the bike you should consider and test. As I say, three and a half thousand British pounds is not a small amount of money, uh, but I believe you get a good value for money for this bike. And also, if there's a possibility, always try to negotiate with your local bike dealer and they should be able to go 10-15% discount on uh, this bike. So in a summary, so Scott Addict SE Disc for 2020, uh, Scott's HMF carbon fiber frame and fork, top notch as I mentioned, we have a 5 year warranty frame and fork, we have also a full Shimano Ultegra electronic group set, Shimano Ultegra DI2, so rear mech, front mech and the shifters, and also this is paired with Shimano Ultegra hydraulic disc brakes <clears throat> with 160mm rotors both uh, front and back, and Shimano Ultegra hydraulics are absolutely top notch. Wheel set is the in-house Syncros wheel set, and as I say, I still believe they use DT Swiss hubs on this wheel set. And the whole package uh, is uh, retailing now for 3,500 British pounds or approximately 4,200 US dollars. My recommendation would definitely be to check it and test it and then uh, make your decision. So I think this is going to be it for today. I hope you like what I'm doing, if you do, please do subscribe, I'll be making more of these videos, and as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Stay healthy and Pura Vida!